Welcome to the Resident Evil Complete Story Series. Today we're going to be covering a recent release, Resident Evil Revelations 2. This game is great in my opinion, and I highly recommend picking it up and playing it. As for placement in the timeline, it seems to take place between Resident Evil 5 and the movie Damnation. Also, the story is broken into two, so we're going to begin with Claire Redfield and Moira Burton's opening. They both work for the biohazard prevention agency, TerraSave, and at a company party, they find themselves being kidnapped along with the rest of TerraSave and knocked unconscious. When they wake back up, they find themselves in a facility located on an island, and their horrific journey through the island built like a torture trap from Saw begins. A woman going by the name of the Overseer begins to speak to them and challenge them through their bracelets. They push their way through the traps and creepy monsters until they reach a radio tower, but after sending out a signal, they realize that help isn't coming. So Claire decides that they need to find their way off of this island on their own, and they push further into the island looking for other members of TerraSave. And eventually, they locate quite a few of those members and they discover a helicopter that will get them off of this island. But just as they're finding the pieces of the helicopter, they find themselves battling against hordes of afflicted, and they discover that when someone succumbs to their own fears, the virus will take hold and change them into one of these monsters, as one of their friends begins to change into a hulking beast with a chainsaw. Claire and Moira begin to run from the scene, trying to distract all of the monsters while they finish repairing the helicopter, and they end up meeting Natalia, a young girl who just seems lost on the island. But the Overseer eventually prevents the helicopter from leaving by remotely crashing it as it tries to leave. And while Claire and Moira are distracted by this, Natalia gets kidnapped and taken to the Overseer. As they try and chase down Natalia, they discover that the reason that the TerraSave members were the ones captured is because their director worked out a backdoor deal with this Overseer. He wanted to release a version of the Ouroboros virus into the world to justify the use of the government-funded FBC organization that is supposed to be around to prevent these terrorist attacks. But once his plans have been discovered and revealed, the director mutates into one of the afflicted, forcing Claire and Moira to bring him down. They then discover the truth behind this entire plan and the voice behind the Overseer, because it's actually Alex Wesker, one of the 13 children in the W Project that was made to create a superior breed of humans. Each of the children received the surname Wesker, making Alex Wesker a sister of sorts to Albert Wesker. This whole thing is a plan for her to try and find a true candidate that is immune to fear to truly become a mortal. And she plans to use Natalia's body to reawaken in six months once the body is ready for her. Alex Wesker then seals up Natalia for six months and shoots herself in the head, activating the self-destruct mechanism in this facility. Claire and Moira begin to flee and they manage to get near the bottom of the tower. But at the last second, a piece of the catwalk falls on Moira, pinning her as she pushes Claire out of the way. With only seconds left, Claire leaps out of the building, leaving Moira behind. Claire was then rescued and brought back to the mainland, where she was hysterical after the whole ordeal. But she did manage to see Barry and tell him, Moira is on the island, and still is. He needs to save his daughter. So Barry Burton packs up his things, and he brings enough guns for his small SWAT team, and he makes his way back to the island. The first person that he meets is a lost and lonely child named Natalia. It's been six months since Claire and Moira's ordeal, and Natalia tells Barry that she knew Moira, but she died. Barry refuses to accept that, and he takes Natalia with him as he explores the island looking for his daughter. As he explores the island with Natalia leading him around, he learns that Natalia is a child from the Terra Grigia incident from the first Resident Evil Revelations. She lost both her parents in that event, and this made her immune to fear, and this is why Alex Wesker wants to use Natalia's body but neither Barry nor Natalia are aware of this at this time. So they keep going through the island until they reach the tower where Natalia last saw Moira alive and inside, and there they're confronted by a horribly mutated Alex Wesker. She is now a hulking, grotesque beast, and she blames Natalia for the state that she is in because Natalia ran away. Before Barry can even battle the mutated Alex, though, he manages to escape with Natalia into the sewers, and the two of them make their way to the mines on the island and various other locations. Eventually, they find a mansion that looks like the one that started all of these Resident Evil events, and they go inside to confront Alex Wesker. But she prepared this time by injecting herself with the Ouroboros virus and mutating a second time into a much larger and more massively hulking beast. She snarls at Barry and Natalia, and the final battle begins with Barry bringing down Alex. But near the end, Alex reaches out and grabs Natalia, holding her hostage to prevent Barry from killing her. Just at that moment, though, Moira appears and shoots Alex Wesker in the head, saving Natalia. Moira has survived on the island for the last six months, hunting and surviving and hiding. 
Moira, Barry, and Natalia all run to a nearby cliffside where they expect to have their final stand. But behind them, Claire appears in a helicopter with a rocket launcher and they finish off Alex Wesker. As they all load up and leave the island, Barry tells everyone that he just wants to retire and maybe he'll raise Natalia as his daughter. A bit later, Claire gets a phone call in which she tells Pierce to take care of Chris and China, linking this event to the Resident Evil 6 events. With that, we end the game with Natalia obviously not herself, as she's reading newspapers about bioterrorism, implying that maybe Alex Wesker succeeded in taking over the little girl's body to some extent. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I do apologize with how long it took us to get this out after the game came out. I kind of forgot the game existed after I beat it. It was really fun and I enjoyed it, but it's kind of weird. You definitely should check it out, and I will see you guys next time right here at Eligible Monster.